What's bang on YouTube? Bangzilla here back with another video. Some more Phantom Dust content for you lovely people. Um, mainly gonna be going over a little technique and uh, I guess wisdom regarding uh, Arsenal creation. Arsenal is what you call a dex in this game. Uh, and Arsenals are essentially what make you a you, basically. So, I'm gonna go to the lab here. I'm gonna take a look at some of these arsenals I have. Uh, <laughs> so you can name arsenals or whatever you want. Um, I usually name arsenals depending on what's within them. Uh, this is called One Night Stand because there's a lot of uh, single use skills you can see that uh, one beside the uh, cost of strength, or you have uh, stuff, you have the Infinity symbol, which means it's infinite. Uh, these are mainly one use skills. One use skills are generally powerful with the uh, drawback that you can only use them once. So, this is pretty mid range deck as far as uh, mana cost and power goes. It relies mainly on memories of battle and scars of battle to deal damage equal to a number of uh, other attacks I've used. Uh, I have a couple of general use uh, shields here. Uh, Fortress of Iron is, in my opinion, the best shield skill in the game. You have uh, Gust, which tell us most projectiles to fuck off. Uh, Devil's Arm, same thing as Forces of Iron, it costs less, it does less, but it has the same effect. Uh, and then the Cyclone, which is just the one use, just get that fuck, you know, get erase things, words. I'm still pretty new to this, so you're gonna hear some fuck ups from me. I'm sorry, I apologize for that time. I'm no uh, cutie pie, at least not yet. So, you have, I guess the best way to talk about this would be to go to the stock list. In this game, Phantom Dust, you have uh, 300 base skills, uh, and there is Psycho, you have Optic, you have Nature, you have Key, and then you have Faith. And these five uh, schools, or I like to call them disciplines, they're, they're kind of like uh, Colors of Magic the Gathering. Uh, they each have their own strengths and weaknesses. Uh, Psycho's mainly your uh, mid-range kind of medium, short-range attacks. Uh, when I say mid-range, it's the Magic the Gathering uh, terminology. I played a lot of Magic. Uh, <laughs> it's basically the only game I still play, in all honesty. Um, and I might use a few references here and there that sound like nerd talking. If it is, blame magic. I apologize at the time. Uh, optic is your long range kind of uh, keep safe and hurt people from a distance. Uh, if you are familiar with card games, optic is the value because most of their attacks are uh, low cost, low impact. Um, is they're really great for um, getting buffed because they cost so little and they generally do little. But then you have uh, nature here, and uh, nature, the attacks are kind of eh, They're, they cost a lot for what they do. Uh, nature's attacks outside of the uh, Peace of trilogy, they are a little ridiculous as far as their price goes. But then you have uh, stuff like heat, heat here, which just increases your attack damage. I mean, it's pretty simple as far as functionality goes. You heat something up, and then you'll spam... I don't know, Sonic Boom. Shout out to my guy mans out there. And, and you'll just Sonic Boom somebody to death. It, it's cheese. Plain and simple. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Kolo Korn, I actually just played with him last night. His deck revolves around uh, Rapid Fire Cannon, Sonic Boom, Heat, and uh, Optimization, which I don't have yet. Shh. Um, and then you have Key. Key is honestly... I think one of my it's one of my favorites. Like key, key is you know close and personal, rough and tumble, fucking fisticuffs, and, and that's that's good shit to me. Um, a lot of people don't play key because it's generally pretty easy to avoid melee attacks. But if you don't avoid melee attacks, that's that's when the damage comes in. It's it's pretty ten out of ten. Um, I like the just general feel of hitting somebody as opposed to shooting them from half a fucking mile away. That's just, uh, well, like what I said, your deck reflects you. Or your arsenal, I'm sorry. I, I wouldn't fucking call them a deck. That's what they are. You know, your deck reflects you. 
um you have faith faith is the edgy fucking teenager of the five schools um if it doesn't hurt you in some way like uh yeah demon spire you have hell spire fire of Gehenna. if it doesn't hurt you then it hurts them a lot and if it does hurt you it hurts them more uh Mur muscle blade is a six cost skill that does 10 damage it costs two health um faith's biggest uh i guess not staple but um their biggest claim to fame is judge of nubis this was a pretty popular constructed deck back in Fem Dust original run uh, you basically got yourself to a really low health, you judge a maneuver somebody they die. It's pretty simple. Um, they have some pretty consistently decent attacks. Uh, Venom Fang's honestly one of my favorite to, to spam. <laughs> Not die spam, but when I do spam, Venom Fang. Um, Thor's hammer is solid. It goes through objects, so it's like super solid, or maybe it'd be fucking incorporeal um and uh, most of these attacks aren't really useful sign of saints is kind of a gimmicky sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but um yeah you so your defensive skills are just as important as your non-defensive skills uh psycho in particular has the benefit of uh having anti-pierce defenses which means that that scumbag who's trying to, you know, vacuum slash you 10 seconds into the game, you're going to be able to negate that damage with uh, anti pierce. And if you don't know what pierce is, yeah, pierce is a attack property that lets you uh, trample over whatever defense a uh, any given defense has. Uh, that's another magic term, trample. But um, say I have a. Uh, let's see, I have a. You know, this would be a lot better if these weren't so fucking ant tiny. Um, let's see. I have a psycho spear, all right? Psycho spear, three cost, eight strength. If my opponent blocks with a, let me find a fairly popular shield. Um, if my opponent blocks with like a laser barrier, let's say they're playing some uh, snipish, some snipish optic deck they block with laser barrier before that damage goes through and I don't know if you've noticed but uh, you only have 20 health in the game so pierce is a generally good mechanic and that makes uh, anti pierce barriers great um, psycho also has these neat things uh, course so course negates the it, it deflects the course of any given projectile it doesn't interact with the damage at all so you can get away with deflecting you know like a 12 damage cycle spare and it won't do anything to you i also think that uh course is really interesting too with the caveat that course cannot protect you from melee attacks um melee attacks uh aoe attacks course doesn't do shit against those so keep that in mind um I'm mainly going to talk about attack and defense this video, so y I know you guys probably see those other colors and I wonder what the fuck those are for, but uh, we're not getting into that quite yet. Um, so, what I said earlier about optics being efficient, efficiency is like uh, just low cost, uh, generally value skills. Uh, this costs one, it defends for four, it's a barrier. It's as bare bones and simple as you can get, but it does its job. Um, eraser is actually a really good one. It costs two and it erases any skill it blocks. Um, I honestly think erase effect uh, shields are probably one of the uh, best general use for shields in the game. Um, I think my favorite is um, laser show is really decent because shelter skills, shelter blocks AOE, it blocks up front attacks. It, it, it's your catch-all defense more or less. Uh, laser shell is pretty decent. Uh, reflect mirror if you have the mana for it. It can catch people off fucking guard. I've broken hearts and crushed dreams with reflect mirror. Um, paralyzed barrier. It's kind of gimmicky, but I don't think it really isn't about defense, honestly. Uh, and then you have uh, nature. Nature. You have more of these uh, high cost defending like two 
and then it goes all the way up to what is this uh six so nature has some pretty neat effects the most vanilla nature skill you have is wall of fire here is a two cost barrier defense for six and then you have shit like cyclone cyclone fucks up somebody this day it defends for eight it costs three uh, vacuum wall is basically the same thing but it, it's uh infinite use so obviously it costs more uh fortress of iron i mentioned that once before fortress of iron is fucking great this skill is uh 10 out of 10 honestly my favorite defense in the game and then just like with Psycho, you have Gust here, which does the same thing, more or less. I'm not sure why it, uh, why the cost discrepancy is different. Um, a lot of people, for tempo, they play a Glacial Wall. Glacial Wall is a skill that when you block somebody, they just get fucked, essentially. Like, what are they gonna do after that? Just, so they were a dick in their hand, basically. Um, Wall of Current really doesn't get used too much, although... It's basically a minor version of uh, our good friend Forces of Iron there. Um, and much like the the course mechanic, uh, you have Brush, which is uh, in key. It's kind of like, you guys remember Dragon Ball Z, right? You know, like, a new villain comes onto the scene, the good guy's like, fuck you, we're the good guys, and they shoot a fucking Kamehameha at him. And the villain looks at that shit and he backhands it. That's exactly what Brush is. Brush is pimp slapping the fuck out of whatever's coming at you. And it doesn't matter. Well, I'm sorry. It does that matter, actually. Because Brush only defends up to the defense. Uh, but it costs so little that you have no reason not to just take guard. Guard defends for six and brushes. I mean, it costs two and brushes for six. Um... Key also has Absorb, which is kind of like the, the flow like water mentality of Key. It comes in, you know, full circle with the defense. Absorb attacks are interesting, but they aren't exactly useful. Why, you ask? Because Absorb attacks can't defend against melee, and if the attack damage of what you try to absorb goes beyond the defense, you don't absorb it your shield breaks and you don't get shit out of it. Alerting is pretty cheeky. Um, I don't really like learning for the same sense that I don't like uh, spells that take control of shit and magic the gathering because this skill is only as good as what you play against, right? So if somebody throws a bullet of fire at you and you learning that shit, you got yourself a bullet of fire. I mean, you got a vanilla two damage, two cost fucking mid-range attack like is only so good you know what I'm saying uh, digestion I haven't actually played around with digestion but I have played games where somebody tried to digest my uh, dance of death and they just took 15 damage to the dome that was fucking hilarious um, on we go so faith shields are something like a combination of psycho and key um, they bleed you to help, to help you, basically. Um, barrier. So this is your, as close to vanilla as you get, honestly. Uh, you have Shield of Aegis here, and then you have Shield of Ruin. Shield of Ruin is a better Shield of Aegis that costs two to use. Guardian Angel. This looks so good on paper. It has cut me more times than I can count. I'm not gonna fucking lie. I had a guy who, um, he had a Psycho Knife, and he realized that I had Guardian Angel. So while I was stuck in the animation of Guardian Angel, you know, it's like this, like, ah, I'm free, but you're n really not because you're fucking stuck in the animation. I kept getting hit by Guardian Angel's proc for two health every time he hit me with the Psycho Knife, and I couldn't dodge because I was too busy doing the stupid fucking animation. Guardian Angel's trap, please don't, don't. It looks cool, I promise you it's not. Uh, moving on. Uh, Protect Circle is this class is from the shelter. Pretty, you know, standard stuff. Devil's Arm is a brush attack that erases a skill. It costs zero. It defends for four. It costs one health. I think Devil's Arm is solid shit. Uh, if you don't want to bleed to do your dirty work, you also have Angel's Wing, which costs two. Uh, Flash Hole. This is one of my favorite skills. Flash Hole is a three defense for three that erases. It's um. It's pretty sticky, sis, in all honesty. 
because people don't expect like really big shields or I'm sorry really strong effect shields with three mana and they throw you know a fucking bullet of fire at you or they throw a bomb at you and that shit just gets eaten uh, dark hole basically the same thing as before it defends for more it does the same thing but it costs one health um, so with the knowledge of what attack and defense skills do on a grand scale. I really didn't talk about anything in particular. I guess uh, depending on what you guys request in the future, I can do that. Um, let's get to go back, and we're going to look at my arsenals. So I already talked about when I stand. My favorite arsenal, my baby. And uh, funny thing you can do here, you can look at the data, the battle data of your arsenals, and you can see where uh, I've played a grand total of 60. Uh, I'm sorry, I've played 97 games. I've won 65. It shows you your win-loss ratio. I have a a um, pretty spicy 67 with this deck, Atomic Karate. If you've seen my Dance Death video from before, you recognize this. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, honestly. It's a very aggro, aggro deck because it does very aggro things. Um, so you have just uh, a bunch of skills that revolve around this son of a bitch right here, Dance of Death. Dance of Death is one of the coolest to me thematically and uh, I like the animation. Your character kind of does this charge up and then he vanishes and then just knocks shit on somebody. It's like some fucking anime shit. I like that. It turns me on. Um, so you got Splashdown which is a two cost five strength. It's kind of like that early damage. Uh, it also powers Dance of Death. Uh, pursuit attacks you knock down someone and then you pursue them it's kind of like the step on the fucking head and it does three damage I think that's fucking value honestly um I had regular pursuit in here which is a uh, I guess the normal version of Scott pursuit right here it costs three and it's it's infinite though but I found that the extra three really wasn't as important to me as the zero cost because that's definitely a five fucking cost, you know, attack. It's not something we want to do too much of. Um, I put charge particle in here for the simple fact that people think that hiding behind the wall is like the top meme against melee ducks. So it's kind of like my uh, ace in the hole, my uh, confederate in the sands, if you will. Uh, hyper kick is when I get tired of trying to kill people with dance to death, and I just want like a solid small damage eventual kill um i used to run three of swift blow in this deck but i found that the combination of splashdown and sky pursuit being actually useful past uh level two because the swift attacks swift attacks deal crazy damage but they have this restriction of you need two exactly two levels to use so yeah swift blow you have swift kick and you have swift uh punch I have these here for the sole purpose of powering up my dance stuff. They're not really meant to be used early game. Um, I've made a mistake of trying to, and I don't like how that feels. Uh, level up, I so I want to talk about uh, non-attack defense skills, but these are just here to increase my level because dance death is a greedy bastard, and um, the deck's pretty simple. It does what it's meant to do. I only recently put in three up dance of death, and I'm. Not sure how I feel about it because it's usually pretty easy to get Dance of Death just as a two of. So if I felt like being spicy, right? Delete my Dance of Death. I can, since I'm only using two trees right now and I have three available, I could pick any other third skill here and I can put it into the deck. Let's say I want one of my favorite Flame Sword. Three cost three. Simple. Bam. Flame. I have a flame sword now. And I... It's solid. It's a solid play. So, we're gonna go ahead and A-OK -okay that. Finish editing. Reflect changes. Um... Scumbag Steve. I'm not really gonna talk about this very much. It, it's honestly pretty shaky. That Just don't look. Avert your eyes, please. Um... I made this deck long shot just to deal with people who wanted to play the long game. Um... It's kind of my variant on the uh, the cheese deck. I have three heats, two level amps, and long range options. I have a single flame sword in case somebody thinks they're gonna get fresh with me. 
and uh, I got two shields. It'll actually, thinking about it, I probably need to put in a third shield. Because how much aura you have can hurt you or can help you. And I'm a firm believer of greed over value. I'm perfectly willing to go to 17 or even 18 skills with the hope that I get what I'm looking for. And if I don't, you know, fuck me, right? I mean, it's a it's a considerable risk for the reward of having more options available, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Um, I have down here. So the meme I mentioned earlier, the Judge of Anubis deck, this is my attempt at it. I haven't really played with it much. Uh, the games I have done, I can show you guys. Uh, I've been pretty sure that I have one win out of four. Um, to be fair, I have brought these decks to um, Battle Royale game modes. I try to play as much one-on-one uh, -on -one as I can, but a lot of people don't do that. So, it is what it is. So right here we have Empty Arsenal, and this is just for you guys, so you can see and hear my uh, thought process when I go into making a deck. So let's see, let's say that I want to cheese somebody. I want to build a deck that gets in, gets the job done, and gets the fuck out. So what I want is stuff like this, Psycho Spear. I want the Pierce, I want the early damage. I want to be as aggravatingly aggro as possible. That's what you call alliteration right there, boys and girls. Um, I want Vacuum Slash. It's the same fucking thing. It's just a sword instead of a spear. Um, so you put multiple of something in the deck. Let's say I want three Vacuum Slashes. The more of a skill you put into a deck, the more often it appears. This helps out because obviously single-use skills have the... Uh, Disadvantage of being only single use. Um, so, I also want, because I really like lances, uh, I guess you can say that that's a um, fruity and slip. I'll put in some uh, pierce stuff from the key school as well. Hyperlance. So, we have a bunch of single use stuff, right? And you're probably thinking to yourself, so what happens when Bangzilla uses all of his single use skills? He just says that with his fucking dick in his hand. And you know what? I agree. So, what we're going to do to absolve me of that sin, we will put in three things. And since I am using three uh, skills, I can bury the uh, class. So, Cycle Knife, pretty solid. 2-2 two, two for 2. 2-2 two, two for 2. That, see, that's more fucking Master Gathering bleeding into my fucking mouth. Uh, 2 damage, 2 costs. We're gonna put in... Actually, I'm gonna go with Ice Sword here. I was going to go with uh, Flame Sword, but if I can Ice Sword somebody early, and I have like a Vacuum Slash or something else in my hand, there's really not much I can do about it. And then the third thing, since uh, we're choosing one skill from each, we're going to... If I can find it. Did I pass it? I fucking passed it, now. I'm so bad at this. Well, you see, YouTube, I was going to go for Hyper Kick, because uh, Hyper Kick's kind of value, but apparently I don't have any more Hyper Kick. You know what that means? I need to go to the shop. So in the scenario mode, you run into the shop about uh, two acts into the game once the arsenals become a thing, and uh, on the online mode, the shop is randomly generated every single fucking time you visit, and uh, that's a good thing and a bad thing. I try to collect at least one of every skill. Um, you sometimes need more than one. Uh, you can have three of any separate skill in the deck. But I think that skills are really popular, stuff like uh, Fire Sword or, you know, Bullet of Fire, it's important to have more of those. Um, so right now we're looking for a Hyper Kick, because the only Hyper Kicks we have are already in use. And uh, I believe what we're about to get what the kids call Never Lucky. Yep, there are no, no fucking Hyper Kicks here. So, um, I am... That's something of a quandary. So, Tiger Kick. I don't have any Tiger Kicks, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Bam. Own one. 
Um, let's look, see if there's anything I don't have. No, we have one of everything. Uh, let's look at the defenses. My defenses. Yeah, we got everything. Okay. So, back to the lab. We have a grand total of two infinite use attacks. We want to fix that, so we're going to, uh, I guess my best option is to pay a second Psycho Knife. The homing on Psycho Knife is great. Did I already pass it? Yeah, I did. Okay. So, 12. Usually, you want to stop around 15, 16. Take a look at what you have and decide whether or not you want to uh, put in some more stuff. So... For since we're trying to end this game early, this is a very aggro, very uh, early game kind of arsenal. I want to put in some low cost stuff, right? So, um, Crystal Wall is really hard to go wrong with the uh, Psycho Shell. And I think it might be correct to get Glacial Wall too because it has that uh, freezing effect I mentioned earlier. So we just put in two of Glacial Wall. Bam. So we have 12 attacks. We have four shields. So if you start with four skills and slots and you have three orbs on the board, right? So you start with seven things. So I'm no mathematician, but my aura particle to attack to defensive skill ratio, given what the factors we have, there is a chance that I get two, at least two aura particles, at least two attacks, and maybe one shield at the beginning of every round. Um, you can run the fucking math if you want. I'm not going to because I fucking hate math. I, the only reason. I think math is necessary is to count money, but um, some people are fucking math nerds, dude. So we need to name this arsenal. Um, really don't need to name it, but I like naming our arsenals because I like to feel special. Um, we will go ahead and change the arsenal name to uh, what do we change it to? Pog Champ, maybe? Yeah, oh, fuck it, Pog Champ. Bam. Alright, so the only way to really christen a deck is to play it. So I'll see you guys on the next video and hopefully we get some good matches in. See you around YouTube. Signing out.